In the last video, we finished uh, proving that sine 30 is 1 half and uh, cos 60 is also 1 half. Okay, so let me go over it very soon. So we said that in a right angle triangle, we constructed this new angle or new triangle and we said that this is an equilateral triangle so all the sides are equal so if this is a this would also be a and all the sides would become a so if this is a by 2 this will also be a by 2 so the total length a a dash is a now sine 30 is so then we were looking at only triangle a we're looking at triangle a b c we're looking at this triangle triangle a b c okay now focus is a b c is a right angle uh, this a b is a o a half of a by 2 this is a and this is root 3 by 2 so now let us look at uh, the other angle so 60 we wanted to prove sine 30 and uh, we want to find the trig ratios of sine 30 and uh, 60 degrees. So sine 30 we saw is uh, a by 2 and cos 30 is a by 2. Okay, so let me now do of tan 30. Okay, so we have done. Okay, now so let us say. Uh, okay, so let us say now sine 60. I want to keep it here. Sine 60. For 60, this is opposite and this is a hypotenuse. So this is root 3 over 2a over a. So a and a will get cancelled. So sine 60 is root 3 over 2. And this will be on a calculator 0.866. So, on your calculator, will tell you sine 60. Sine 60 is 0 0.8666. Goes on. I think I will show you on a calculator. Uh, <coughs> my calculator always goes on radian. So, I have to set it degrees first. Degrees first. And sine 60 is 0.866 and if you go root 3 over 2 that will give you the same answer okay so okay so let me bring this back and close this okay so sine 60 we have done sine 30 and sine 60 so if you do cos 60 cos 60 is oh we already did cos 60 so we have done sine 30 okay so what can we do now well let us do sine uh sine 30 and 60 is done so now we have to do cos 30 yeah so that's the order so cos 60 sorry cos 30 is same is for this angle 30 this is adjacent and this is the hypotenuse so that will be the same value root 3 over 2a the whole over a okay i'm trying to cram the whole thing so cos 30 would be the same number which is root 3 over 2 i'll make it make a, a table and show you how to remember these values you it's good if you can remember these values okay now let me do here what is 10 30 10 30 10 is opposite over opposite over adjacent so that is uh, a by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 a now this will become how will I simplify so I'll let me delete this so that I have more space to show the working okay let me use a bigger eraser yeah this is not needed now so so I'll explain now this is a by 2 divided by root 3 a by 2 okay so this becomes a by 2 times so when you divide change the division to multiplication 
this this number will swap over so this will be 2 over root 3a so this is nothing but 2a over root 3 times 2a so this a 2a will get cancelled so finally this is 1 over root 3 so 1030 is 1 over root 3 so let us confirm this on a calculator so uh, menu run and I have to do this annoying thing of changing into degrees so 1045 is oh 1030 sorry not 45 10 30 is 0.577 and if you go 1 divided by root 3 that will give you the same answer 0.57 this whole number so there's a way to remember all these values if you if you are uh, interested that's good to remember because later on when you come to uh, do higher you know, mathematics you need if it's good if you can remember these values so 1030 is 1 over root 3 now 1060 is 1060 is for this 60 degree this is the opposite and this is the adjacent so this is root 3 over 2a divided by this is opposite and divided by adjacent that is a over 2 so 1060 will become root 3a over 2 times 2 over a whenever you change the division to multiplication you swap the uh, number over so this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and this and this will get cancelled so 1030 1060 sorry is root 3 and then there's a different way to remember I'll explain that later on uh, 10 is actually um, okay, I'll do that later so this is uh, we have done for 1030 and 1060 now, to how to remember this in a form of a table? So, let me make up a table. Okay. So, it's good to remember uh, in a table form. If you remember all these values, and you can, it's not difficult. I remember, not because I am brainier or smarter than you, but because I made an attempt to remember these values. This is good. So, I'm talking about 30, 45, and say 60 okay okay so let me make it tidier so let me uh, sorry okay how can i do this yeah i can bring this back and yeah i can do that yeah okay so this is okay i want to uh, this is sine cos and 10 i'll show you a very smart way to remember this okay so let me write now so this is your trig ratio trig ratio and uh, so you've got sine cos and 10 okay so let me do it oh, sorry so this is your sine and let me draw a line like this so this is your degrees i'm going to write degrees here so this degrees is 30 degree 45 degree and 60 degree so this is your trig ratios trig ratio now sine 30 i know i'll is uh one over one over two or you can say this is square root of 1 over 2 okay, I'll explain why sine 60 is square root of 2 over 2 okay and sine 60 is square root of 3 over 2 just like that it's very easy sine 60 this is nothing but half and if you simplify this this is 1 I'll not go into the explanation of how this simplifies to this so to remember sine 30 is square root of 1 over 2 
sine 45 square root of 2 over 2 I'll show you this and this are the same and sine 60 is root 3 over 2 for cos actually cos is called the complementary of sine Co it's called cosine cos stands for cosine which is complementary of sine I'll not go into the maths of that complementary of sine okay so sine 30 and cos 60 are the same okay so uh, sine 30 is equal to or uh, cos 30 is equal to sine 60 so cos 30 you have to look, look at sine th sine 60 which is root 3 over 2 sine 45 and cos 45 are the same so this is root 2 over 2 which is 1 over root 2 and this is square root of 1 over 2 so this goes from this increases from half to so this is from 0.5 to 0.866 and for cos it decreases from 0.866 to 0.5 then 10 is Again, I'll not go into this. 10 is sine over cos. 10 is sine over cos. So if you take, if you divide this by this, you'll get 1 over root 3. And if you divide this and this, you'll get 1. Okay. Mm, I didn't explain this. Okay, sorry. Okay, I'll explain this later on. And 1060 is, uh, 1060 is, okay so let me explain 1045 okay i'll continue this in the next video i'll explain how uh, these values come but for the sake of remembering it's very easy square root of 1 over 2 square root of 2 over 2 square root of 3 over 2 and this is the other way around see you in the next video